Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I, I think we'll sell some of these. Probably not those ones. I'm still thinking that a double Hellion run at some point in the future is a, a amazingly, tremendously good idea. Which may be stupid and wrong, but I, I am still thinking that. So, I'm gonna stick with it. We haven't got an occultist up to this level 5 yet, which is something I'd like to do because their heals can really carry a mission. And they can also cause a mission to go to ruin, so it's very much of a... Um, <laughs> it's very much a, a gamble in many respects, but I'd call it a Hail Mary. Yeah, we'll sell that. We don't use these anyway, so we'll only keep one of the ones we never actually use. Although, we're going to the Warrens, so we don't really need this. Yeah, whatever. Um, we'll keep these ones. We often use two of these in a run. Can we get another crappy one that we hate? Oh yeah, we'll take them all back. And then, yes, we've got another one of these. Cool. Let's um, let's put them on people. That seems really good. We do tend to do light runs, and having extra accuracy on a Hellion, very very valuable. I'm thinking we're going to be using bleeds as well. Don't forget that the Hellion's bleed skill, the um, this one, which we don't have, that uh, reduces our damage and dodge, whereas. The Yawp does the same. So the Hellion actually debuffs herself quite liberally. And it lasts quite a long time. And I was actually having a look at this thinking, wait a minute, this is not what I thought it was. It doesn't actually reduce your accuracy. It reduces your damage and dodge. But that's not this one. This is the one we're thinking of here. The If It Bleeds. So we probably want that in the Warrens, which is where we're going, I'm pretty sure. More dodge, more speed, less debuff resist. Probably not a good idea in the Warrens. There's a lot of debuffs in the Warrens. More trap disarm might not be too useful. So I think here we're just going to go with something like uh, ranged accuracy. <clears throat> ranged skill. That's a below. More damage in position one. Oh, maybe we want to put that on you. No, we definitely want your bleed skill chance and your accuracy. So I think we're okay where we are. The... the the skills we've got on there are slightly more preferable. More debuff resist could be good. We do have damage versus things. I think in this case, beast. Uh, the Warrens is mostly beasts rather than um, Eldritch. It's not quite as gross as the Wield. And the Houndmaster already has bonus to beast, so we could really conceivably be looking at one-shotting stuff even now. Uh, I guess that. Seems nice. Um... Keep being able to keep people away from Death's Door, or at least not actually dying on Death's Door, seems effective. More disease resist could be good. Uh, it's a short mission, so that seems like a good idea because we're not going to be camping. And also, we're not taking a grave robber in order to cure that disease, so <clears throat> whatever. I'll take the stun skill chance as well. I was thinking of maybe taking the blight stone or something like that to improve our blight chance, but of course we are going to the Warrens where there is quite high blight resist. The main reason I'm taking Jekry, in fact we should check out Jekry's thingy, it's uh, <clears throat> it's the battlefield medicine here, it's the stun. I mean the plague grenade could be good because there tends to be things at the back we don't like. But I'm thinking maybe we should take incision. Nah, because we can't use it from the back. So we'll try the blights, could go wrong, whatever, we'll give it a go. I'll take a couple of extra torches now because there are units that reduce torchlight and I'd like to uh, keep on top of that. <clears throat> we'll take... Excuse me. <coughs> Hem. For some reason when I play this game, my voice goes crazy. I spent six hours doing a stream. I was fine. Play Darkest Dungeon. All goes to shit. We'll buy all the food. We've got plenty of money left, even though we upgraded everybody, although we did sell a couple of um, trinkets to make sure that was... Please sell this. Thank you. Uh, we want some of this. We want some of this. Probably only want to take one of those. I'll ignore the next one if necessary. Provided they'll let me. I'll take a key just in case we find a secret room. And we do have Jekry. As long as we can get Jekry to have a go. Um, the blights and bleeds that we do get can be taken off 
reasonably easily. This is entirely new to me. I have literally never done a level 5 they mission in this game. Look how short it is. But perhaps we can slay them so, faster. we've got to be 100% of room battles. So we have to go this way, but we don't have to go this way. So we'll avoid that battle. Just out of... <coughs> excuse me. Just out of sensibility, I guess. Seems most sensible to... Uh, thank you. And zero is just perfect. Uh... Avoid battles we don't have to do because we don't know what we're coming up against right now. Baubles, yes. Sounds a little bit like Dr. Evil. Baubles. Trinkets and baubles. Oh. Completely went out of my way to do that weirdly. Right. So these are. Looks like it's things we've seen before because we know what their skills are. I'd rather kill this first if entirely possible. And to facilitate that, I am not going to disorient it. What is your blight resist? Quite high. I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh, that's really not going to work, is it? I will s try and stun this one and hope that this doesn't move. It resisted both. <laughs> Whatever then. <clears throat> Hello, I'm coughing. I mean, Blackjack's really the only thing that's any good. Uh, prop. No prop on these, so we just attack it. We can... Can we mark? That does mark as well. What's your HP like? Let's just put bleed on everything. Let's start off with that. We did come in here with the thought about bleeding. These are beasts, so you're going to have a great opportunity to beat the shit out of a lot of things. Now we're going to start Iron Swanning. Please don't dodge. <laughs> Good. It's a lot less damage than I expected, but okay. Uh, there is a stun available here, so we want to kill it. Well, not kill, but we want to ensure at least one of them doesn't have a go. I will take the one with the least HP, and it might as well be this one, because when it gets its go, 95% stun star resistor. Is it will still take damage. We brought stuns, which are apparently are not that useful against this specific uh, set of units, but... That's probably fine. Please keep dodging. You did not. Light is probably also fine. Unfortunately, Jekry's had a go. Well, they they were surprised, which in this case has actually turned out to be pretty bad. Because it's meant that... Um, ooh, a crit down there is great. It's meant that Jekry's already had a go before any of these have applied any of the debuffs, i.e. Can you please not die immediately? Uh, this. Um, light here. It's already going pretty badly. No one's got a... No. Now they're going extremely quickly, which is... Oh, how have you managed that? I'm extremely pleased. Three damage for three rounds. Right, I'm going to have to... Battlefield Medicine Ash to get rid of the blight that is going to cause them to basically, for certain, be on death's door. Heal yourself. Back into not actually quite dead yet mode, zone, territory. These are doing so much damage right now, it's just unbelievable. Finally we get a go. Like, these two units did no damage to these units. And then these units get a go all over again, somehow. And if you guys wanted to dodge over there, that'd be sweet. 24 crit. So we could immediately lose Ash if they choose to attack Ash again. Which they did. Is a Ash is dead. So the very first thing that happened is that we lost our healer, so we're leaving. I... Uh, I... Just... I don't know what to say. That was bullshit. How are we supposed to prepare for that? They just... I'm pretty sure that their attacks were random, so we were just extremely unlucky that they focused down our healer and we did not get the opportunity to do any damage to them that was really meaningful. Lethargy is... these are awful. <laughs> I mean, we've seen those units before. We have definitely seen those units before and we've Once come out of it fine. And the fact that Ash didn't get an opportunity to heal himself before they stacked up three attacks on him with a huge amount of damage on all three. It was just... it was impossible. There was no way we could deal with it. Uh, unfortunately, that means... Ash is dead. 
So maybe we start putting some people into the Senate area here. Get rid of some of this horrible shit. And see, the problem is there's no level four missions. How long is that? Ten minutes. So in ten minutes, we've killed Ash. This was not unexpected. And now we have space in our roster. So it's not its not the end of the world. Ash was probably... I mean, Ash and D are the equally good healers, right? Maybe we should have thought about taking uh, a, a, a cultist, even though they're not quite as high level. We maybe could have got some more value out of them. Uh, or we should get these four out onto a boss mission before everything goes horribly wrong. I don't know. Let's see what's in our stagecoach. There's a level 1 antiquarian. There's a couple of arbalists and a plague doctor. I mean, I would like to get some more healers down here again. But we've got Zeke leveling up quickly. We've got New Homesy leveling up quickly. Do we need to take anyone at this stage is the question. I mean, maybe I would just rather take a level 1 something else in future. And therefore hold off, not make a decision at this stage. Probably don't want to spend any of these, because if we're going to level anything up, it's going to be the guild first. Because there's a gap. Although, that was different things, right? 84 of these are needed, and this is going to be... It's going to be pictures, so we don't want to use any portraits, because the guild requires those. Thus. And the blacksmith requires... Everything. We've got plenty of crests for that, but we haven't got the deeds, which are so very rare. Like, you, you hardly ever come back with deeds, so you kind of have to swap for them. So we don't want to use either of these, basically. If we can avoid it. So I suppose we will take out another mission, see what we can manage. Try and, uh, maybe we should just do a boss. The Fulminating Prophet. Right, that's going to be... Maybe two... Two of these? High protection units? We probably want a high damage unit that can hit the back. It's not going to be you. Maybe Marie is actually our ideal use, our ideal thing here because she can play grenade the boss for a huge... What's the boss's plague resist like? Or we could try something else. The Swine King is just stack up damage on the thing at the back and hope for the best. Take as much um, in the way of protection as you can. We've also got the Hag, which is the one that puts us in the Cauldron, which was okay last time, um, but it did involve lots of people being on Death's Door quite a lot because you had to either wail away at the Cauldron to get the person out or ignore it, and then they were on Death's Door. Hmm, maybe we could take something like Brian. Someone who's good at stabbing humans, basically. Light sensitive is bad. Less damage, considerable amount less damage. But if Brian's here, Brian can smack the shit out of the uh, cauldron, right? Zeke, uh... Maybe we take a slightly more experienced healer like Bagel. Put you at the back. Put you in the third position. Put Marie at the back. Actually, that doesn't matter. And then... Keep getting Martinus to lunge? I don't know. Or Raikuda as well, so that we can do this thing where we do the point-blank shot on the duelist advance. Which can hit the back, and then that can't, but it will knock the cauldron. And again, just hope for the best. What's your, um... Oh no, we need to send you off into... Wow, okay, we're not taking you. <laughs> but what we are going to do is put you in for some treatment. Sorry about this. Ah, maybe it's not that bad. I think it's that bad. Get rid of testers. Which means what? Mr. Steve as well. Penelope. Not really that good. 
I don't know how to use this jester, really. Um, it seems to have fallen out of favour to some extent because I, I just can't figure out. Oh, we should be taking level fours, of course, shouldn't we? You have both of the things I was looking for. Wicked Slice and Open Vein. Open Vein can't hit the back, which is where the hag's going to be, which is a shame, but... I guess that's okay. Can we t We've got a level 4 here. Have we got a level 4? Chekri can't come with us for several reasons. I think we try this. I'm trepid about it. It could go horribly wrong. I'm expecting it to go horribly wrong. We're only going to take things that ensure our survival. We're not going to take... Uh, I'm not going to take any keys or anything. Trinkets, though. Everything come back. Sort by character class restriction. Right, we want more heals received. We want more damage in position one. That's ideal. That's exactly the two we want there. Uh, no. Mm, maybe, yeah. More damage to range skills means that the point blank shot is more likely to knock the cauldron over and give us our unit back. More crit, not really what I want. Um, more damage versus something. Beast. Bleed skill, no. No, no, no. Position one, no. Wait, what? That's probably slightly worse than the one you've got, right? Yeah. Uh. I think we'd probably try and do this. Keep some people alive. You're going to take the usual set of this and... Maybe this? Calm. Less damage. I don't care about that. No, I think we take the one that ensures that you're not completely, you know, out of control by the time we actually get to the boss. It's going to be this one. It's not brilliant, but let's check your actual heal skills here. Oh, what? I hate that. I went through all that effort as well. There you go. When you're not healing, you can be hit the hag with that, basically. Now we have to do all this bullshit again. Well, not this specific bullshit here. You've got them, you've got them, you've got them. You need them. We will take... Oh, should we be taking a Plague Doctor? Yes, because we want the heal skill from the Plague Doctor, which is going to be definitely unlocked. Great. Um, what do we give you that will be valuable? Damage versus Eldritch? Just to help us out in the uh, in the in betweens. Where is my Eldritch Slayer's there? And damage versus human. Just a damage unit. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't like it, but there you go. This is a bit annoying because you have to do all this again. No, we're not taking those. We're taking these. We're taking these. Oh, we've already got one of those. We're taking food. Loads of food. Couple of shovels. One more of these just in case. Well, it's another 10 minutes figuring out what to do about the previous 10 minutes, but I guess we'll embark now and maybe make it long. And its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together we began to plant, harvest, and brew. One of these days I'm going to remember. In the wild corruption He's going to give us a little bit of exposition. There's a form both wretched and malevolent. And just shut up. Right, we've got a long way to go. We do have a camp. So we're simply going to try not to go flipping out. I brought Brian completely because the ability to knock over the cauldron ASAP is going to be extremely useful. Um, the rest of the time, 
probably not really bothered. Very happy to have picked that up so early on. The flow of otherworldly corruption. Take that, thank you very much. Right, that was a very good first corridor, I have to be honest. It gave us plenty of food so we can start using it to heal people if necessary. I'm very reluctant to do any other level 5 ever again. <laughs> Let's uh, make sure we don't step on this trap. It doesn't really look like a trap so much as just an accidental outgrowth, so I'm surprised that the same skills that let you open a mechanical trap in the ruins also let you sort of remove the poison from a patch of random mushrooms that have only grown there because that's the way nature works when nature is overtaken by the eldritch and unclean. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Look what's happened. Look where we are. Please tell me you can work in the second position. You can. Wish I'd unlocked you, but I didn't. So, okay. Not very much. We have got repost active. We'll do this. Get as much damage on this as possible. Now it's your go, gonna produce some things. And then it's Brian's go to kill two of them straight away, I hope. Uh, we will abyssal artillery, I think. Seems sensible. What's your uh, everything like? This is gonna remove dodge and mark it. I don't think marking it is gonna be that useful. Can anything hit it except for Marie here? <coughs> Good question. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, this can. Alright. That's very nice. It means we can just keep stabbing it. Do this then. Make sure to stack up the damage on that thing at the back as much as we can. Uh, chop. It's not enough damage actually. It's kind of a pest. Not without a crit anyway. So you're going to do this. So at least get rid of one unit. Provided it hit, which it did. That's going to heal. Heal that? Buff that. Okay. Protection? Yes. That's a small problem, not the not the most problematic of problems. I wonder whether we can stun that unit even though it's guarded. Perhaps. <laughs> That's all I've got, perhaps. It is going to take some damage anyway. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'll try this. If it doesn't work, at least it's going to go on that one. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, it resisted. That's not so great. <clears throat> I need to deprot you, but I can't. No one needs weird reconstructing yet, which is, I suppose, a good thing. Um, yeah, even that went on it. I was just trying things against this. I knew that we could attack that anyway, and that would be my priority if I couldn't attack that, which is the case. That was perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, Brian didn't go first to remove the, the protection against that unit, but you can't win a war, I suppose. What are you going to do now? Show collect. That's a stress attack. With the repost, which I believe the repost doesn't get guarded against. So you still hit the unit you reposted against. I'm going to keep uh, stacking up damage on this. It's much more of a priority to get rid of this, and we're doing okay for now. Um... <clears throat> I guess we try to remove its dodge, if possible. Just to ensure that little bit of extra 9% not going to happen, continues to not happen. Or, or doesn't not happen. You know what I mean. So we'll advance on it. Reset our riposte, which lasts exactly two rounds, you notice. Which means that what I'm doing is probably what it's designed for. Wouldn't have minded a crit there as well, but you, you, know, you can't just assume there's going to be crits all the time. So now we point blank shot again. This is working out extremely well, just because this riposte is also doing extra damage. Yeah, we're going to get this again. Seven more damage. It's not actually that much stress if it was stress at all. Not great, but... Eh. You know, you can't win them all, right? <clears throat> Five damage per round is basically completely undone what that unit just did. And then... Bagel... Probably consider healing at some point, but... I don't know. Sure. We might as well weird reconstruct the units that are being hit for zero. Thanks for, thanks for coming. <laughs> Super glad that you came. Uh, hit that, now that you can. This unit may decide to produce more, more in the future, but we'll uh, just keep making sure that it's going to take a shitload of damage when it does have a turn. Try that again. Thank you. 
Zero, 44. Zero, 44. This is why we bring them along. Not because they are any good at their job, <laughs> but because it's hugely entertaining when they do it. I'm gonna try and kill that healer, if possible. I'm gonna bring more on, right? Oh, no, lifesteal. Dodge it. Didn't dodge it. So that gets, oh, excuse me, you lost six and you've got 14. Pardon me? Get rid of here. At some point you might have to heal yourself, to be fair. Not maybe that low, though. You're at six and you're at six. Uh, whatever. Heal the unit that's the closest. That's really my only thought in that situation. So point black shot. This might bring it into death range. It's doing 10 damage. Now it's taking 15. That killed it. That was actually a perfectly fine fight. Considering how much of a horrible fight that could have been this party turns out to have had just the right sort of composition the right set of skills to uh, achieve what we needed to achieve uh, I don't mean we killed the enemy that is a pretty obvious thing that we needed to achieve I meant we needed to get the specifics of the fight done in the right order and that's what happened <clears throat> let's advance upon High dodge, low dodge. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. This will ensure some damage happens to it, or at least it's much more likely. But with the riposte active, now we can worry about maybe these units attacking that one, getting themselves all in the lava. We've got three buffs that we just never use, which is not great. Two not dodges, despite, the, despite everything. That's what I like to see. Unfortunately, that one didn't get the blight, but it's had its turn, so. This is a five against six, which is kind of annoying. Repost? Yep. Yeah. Everyone's dodged around, but I think you can advance from there, so that's okay. Not that okay, actually. I'd like Bagel to get out of the way. Don't move. Resist, resist the move. That's, that's good. That's a down with the torch thing? Yeah. And a bit of stress. So we'll do this again. Nothing else, it'll kill it with. Yeah, just the damage. Uh, right, here we need to make sure. You only go forward one with this, which is a pest. Maybe we can bleed it? 40%? Or, or just dodged. <laughs> Guess I can't be uh, hugely upset by that, but I kind of am, so. I do what I want, don't judge me. That's what I'm saying here. I think we can do this just from this position, to be fair. Uh, maybe not. Please move. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Where can you... Not here. But on the next turn, if... Is that me? Out to your skits. His first go. His go first, I mean. Then we can put everyone in position. It'd be great. Uh, like These, these buffy-type debuff things, I feel like we should use them more. We could use that on the... Uh, on the profit fight, actually, extra protection against the falling debris. I did air quotes, and I don't know why, because I was actually trying to A, you can't see me, and B, I was trying to represent the falling of debris rather than actually like, suggesting that what I was saying was somehow inaccurate. So we'll do this. Try not to kill Bagel if you don't mind. Uh, that would be brilliant. Shot. But as long as Bagel actually gets gone, what? No, that's okay. That's actually really good. Very happy with that. Bagel, have a go. Bagel, heal yourself from a million. 13 is okay. Don't bleed. Don't bleed. That's fine. Uh, I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. I don't intend to. This has got high blight resist, but I'm still trying it because eventually it will take, which is exactly what just happened. Uh, it's also got high bleed resist as well. It's got some bleed resist, but this time we hit it at least, so it's dead. It's dead, let's not think about it. Uh, stress heal plus nine. That's interesting. Might as well just do that. How long does that last? Three rounds. That's three steps in the corridor. That's pretty good loot, actually. Which is not what we're here for, which is somewhat unfortunate. Have a look. Good. Previously that has not been a great idea, but okay. 
And this hopefully will tell us which of these to not go to. Which is that one. So we will go here. At some point we were going to want to camp. But usually common wisdom, or at least my usual thing to do, is to only camp at the end. No touchy. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what is happening? It was a good thing. A boon at last. What happened? Unholy Slayer. Has replaced Cove Tactician, which is not great. Uh, these are probably okay. We don't really have any unholy right now, and I'm pretty sure that the hag is not unholy. It's getting to the stage where those are actually worse than they are beneficial. Why don't you finish off this stack of food? There you go. We've got plenty of food for the camp. We've got plenty of food for another hunger. I think we're okay. Humans. How odd. We're surprising them a lot, which is surprising me. And it's going to make me feel, I guess, complacent? Why are you so bad? It's only level three. Maybe I should have upgraded these people. I think the thing is, we upgraded the people who we then immediately killed, which is not ideal. You can imagine that. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Um, maybe we should keep doing antiquarian-type runs just to ensure that stuff goes down, I guess. We could debuff that, or we could just smack it, right? Ah. Smacking it does come with the possibility that we don't. I guess we try for our kill plus... Five. That's dead, but... No, it's not. Hmm. Well, it killed it, but it wasn't ideal. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. There's another riposte coming. It's a stress attack, though. It's not as a bleed attack. And a stress attack. Oh, okay, but whatever. I don't care. Bring it on. Try me. Here, have that. 18. Kind of makes up for Brian's absolute whiff earlier on, to be honest. Um, I want to remove your damage, if possible. Well, I want to remove your protect. You haven't got a protection. You're just a dodger. A jammy dodger. But a dodger, nonetheless. Right, you're actually going to heal... What's this? Two for two rounds? Nobody. To hell with it. Here. That's dead. Hooray, that's dead. That was a very good round as well. Uh, I don't want that. Ah, it's trapped. Ah, uh, it's a fleet. Here. <laughs> it was worth it because we had the extra bandage, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how much worth it it was. It felt worth it. I did it. It didn't happen. Should we open that? Probably not. We haven't got any inventory space anyway. What do we want? Food? Gonna get food out of a rotting corpse. A desiccated corpse. Maybe some jewels. I think you can find jewels in them, but... Like... I was just gonna say, maybe there's a trap down here. Uh, who cares? About jewels. We've got no inventory space for it. We should probably only pick up stuff that's immediately relevant. Like torches, maybe medicinal herbs. This is actually turning out really well. So if there's a battle here, which there isn't, then that's the boss. Yeah. So we camp here. There's a battle just afterwards. Again, don't really care. We camp. There's a battle. Our buffs, any buffs that we gain from camping should last beyond that battle, so... We camp now, free up some inventory space, a moment of rest just in case anything nice shows up. Heal up fully, so we don't even need to, well not quite fully, whatever. Um, don't need to worry about that too much. We didn't upgrade their camping skills either, because we didn't have any money, because of the horrible failure at the start of this episode. But we're going really fast, I'm just pointing off the screen here to show you quite how much faster we're going. It's only been about half an hour, so it's been another ten minutes after all of that. Frankly. I do not like any of those. Definitely this. No. 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 <laughs> oh, a disease. Probably should have brought um, whoever it was I chose not to in the first place. Well, no one's got blight or disease. Well, this is turning out to be a difficult choice because I don't actually know what to do. Well, let's clean guns. 
That will certainly assist with the boss, which is in two combats. Then... Heal 15%. Let's de-stress. You de-stress you. You wound care. What difference does it make, right? That said heals 15%. You have not got 100 HP. I... Don't know. That's only plus 30%. Whatever. Uh, we'll rest. We're not getting attacked overnight. The light. The promise of safety. That, that camp could have gone better. Didn't really... We could have afforded to upgrade their camping skills. Don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that the reason I didn't upgrade their camping skills is that I couldn't afford it. The reason I didn't upgrade their camping skills is I didn't think of it. Um, being such high level, probably would have just assumed, even if I thought of it, well, okay. If I thought of it, I wouldn't have assumed, would I? Because I would have checked. Stun, 70%. Blight, 40%. I think we just probably tried to blight it. I understand that this is a two-unit attack, and it only hit one of them, but whatever. 6 to 11. It could kill one of these, or we could start damaging this. It's got 40% prot, and you don't have a D prot. You only have a D dodge and D damage. So, we really want to stack up the damage on this as much as possible. Grave Nibble is stress, and a stun apparently. Didn't get stunned, which is fine. Do we know what you can do? Yes, it's mostly stress. Which is a terrible time to have it, because of course, we just spent all that time de-stressing. <laughs> uh, which isn't brilliant. I guess we just chop. Another one falls. As long as we can do that each round, I think we're okay. Probably should have hit that one actually, it had to go. My mistake. Bit silly. Another sort of not really paying attention, trying to get through it. Um, job. Dodge. Damage. Kill yourself. And then later you can heal Marie. You can kill that. Absolutely. You can Noxious Blast this. Now it's on 10. So it's only got two rounds left to live at all. You dodged that, which was super. I guess it was a skull. You should have seen it come in. That's your last round to live, so we're okay. The bigger the beast, Happy with that. The, the, glory. the riposte comes off immediately, which is interesting. And we will move back to here, because we want to be able to lunge to begin with. Uh, and we'll just step into the boss room. Are we ready for this? I'm not remotely ready for this. Bit spooked, in fact, by the loss of Ash right at the start of this. It was just immediate. We didn't even get, you know, not even a how do you do, right? 99. So it's 10 rounds like that. But we've got more rounds. What is your blight resist? 80% is quite a lot. But it's also probably worth trying anyway. It's a 1 in 5 chance, right? So we just keep rolling the dice. Like one die, one d5. Right, you're in the pot. Which is a bit awkward because you're the person who's supposed to get people out of the pot. But you're going in next, I suppose. Unless your round's done. Uh, I'm going to reduce your damage because meat tenderizer I can hurt. Uh, you resisted. Which is a shame. Do it again. We crit the damage and we got the debuff. That's good. At some point, you're going to come out of there. Oh, unfortunate. And of course, now you're in a weird position, which is also awkward. The boss. Great. I mean, I don't mind that sort of damage. We're going to have to figure out how to get Bagel out of there. Um, I suspect that is going to be a case of using a move. Stun, resist is high, high, high. Not going to happen. So we just do this again. I, I had a sense that Marie was going to have... Somewhat less usefulness in this fight, but it got us here. So. A 20 crit on a riposte was just wonderful. I'm super happy with that. I think at some point we have to hope that we can just move Bagel back the old fashioned way. If we can lunge with me before Bagel gets a turn, that would be ideal. 
If we could get Brian out of there, that would also be ideal. So let's let's hope. Let's slow. <laughs> Enough of this. Having these reposts is just so much use. Because because the hag had both of her goes before I had my go here. We've basically won because of the order. So Brian comes out, which is basically fine, because now Bagel does this. That was perfect! That could not have gone better compared to how the earlier round, you know, the 10 minutes at the start when we lost Ash. Compare that to this! Outrageous! Just unbelievable. And it's all because, well, not because of that, that was a bit bad. Yeah, go back in. Couldn't give a shit. Now hit me. I dare you. I shall not strike the pot, strike the pot. Three damage. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! I know you don't want to be eaten, but I didn't think you could speak because you're a cat, so... Whatever, just have a turn. I don't care. You're dead. It's done. Game over. Stop talking. What was I afraid of? I'm so happy. I'm so pleased by that. You know, there was no... There was nothing to complain. There's nothing wrong with that mission. At all. Uh, we leave <laughs> because, you know, you don't stick around after a boss fight, but when one goes that well, you have to wonder whether you... whether it was worth worrying about. I mean, that was the second level of that boss, and we just beat the shit out of it. That repost, that 20 crit on that repost knocked us down by a full round, and then another 44 crit from Bagel. It's just outrageous. Now, me and Bagel are... Oh, you're going in. Uh, level 5, you to a level 4, which means you can go into the next boss. Uh, we've leveled these two out, which is unfortunate, but we still have Pete knocking around. Uh, but also, I'm probably going to want to make sure that many of the lower level time, units, you know the specifically of my Zeke and Homesy here, level up a bit as well. Just by hanging around, they take a little bit of de-stressing. Um, you cured all three for one treatment, which just pleases the shit out of me, quite honestly. Uh, Jet Green no longer has tetanus, because tetanus was a big problem. I mean, I'm not sure whether we got extremely unlucky at the start of that level 5 mission, or whether that is the norm for a level 5 mission, but Jet going to have to go in for, um... Yeah, we'll only gamble. Jet going to have to de-stress as well, and gambling, unfortunately, can actually turn out to be quite expensive, so we're going to have to fund that. We do have a space in the thing. I'm thinking, ooh, a Houndmaster could be good, actually. Or a Man at Arms. I mean, they're only level ones. I think a Houndmaster. I'm kind of a fan of Houndmasters, especially when they have Hounds Harry. Starting with all this bullshit, though. We'll only gamble. Curious, so we'll just use stuff. You've got a difficult set of stuff to begin with. And so do you. What are your benefits? Clover Explorer and Manster. So the plus versus human is great, because that gives you plus human and plus versus beast. Let's bring you along. A lawman and, in, and uh, his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. In poetic... Uh... Parallel, harmony, something. In some erudite and loquacious way of saying, isn't this convenient, Imdism is now the same class as Holmesy used to be, and they are together IRL, which is very nice indeed. Bad humours, right, we don't need to worry about that. So no one's really come back with anything that I'm too upset about. We'll sort by stress and see if anyone else needs to go in. Miri, maybe. At level 5, you're probably going to die soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hate to say it, but there it is. Uh, we've got more bosses to deal with. We can probably upgrade the guild soon. Let's get more portraits at least. This needed deeds, but look how many we've got. We've got must have got a good 13 deeds just now. I think we had 11 before, so that was 17, in fact. Which is a great amount. I don't want to spend them here. I'd rather get those two upgraded first. But making it cheaper is certainly going to help. Well... That turned around a horrible mission into an amazing mission. Uh, well, it didn't. It turned a horrible 
defeat and then followed by an amazing victory, which didn't really make the first mission go any better. It doesn't really make up for the loss of Ash, but we do have some, you know, green hopefuls down here on their way back up to fill the boots of Ash. But it will never be the same again. Sorry, Ash. You can stop watching now. You don't feel obliged anymore. Ha 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 Self-deprecating humour. Ha ha ha. Meta humour. Ha ha ha. Meta meta humour. Ha ha ha. I'll see you next time.